Well, look, I've been making this suggestion to this a number... This is going to get them blushing. In I government. know, I know. You should have seen um, uh, Minister Ruddock when I mentioned it to, to him when he was in Immigration man- Minister some many years ago. I would like to see sex workers from overseas be able to legally use the 457 visa process, which I think would cut out the middleman, would cut out any of that um, uh, trafficking that we that we we expect is is occurring it would enable sex workers to work with autonomy in this country for short periods of time so you'd have 457 visas you could legitimately bring sex workers into australia to work in the industry to work in the legal industry, yeah, legal industry. And, and what we're seeing now is the abuse of, of various forms of visas whether it's student visas holiday visas or even 457 in what in the unlicensed industry in victoria and now we've got 89 licensed brothels and Somewhere between five and six hundred unlicensed ones. And what would you saying? The five or six hundred would be uh, largely uh, foreign. A number of a lot of mm. them would, and certainly that explosion of the the so called massage parlour um, is a is... massage parlour's back. Oh, they yeah. used to be a, a total front for prostitution. Well, I think they probably still are, but yeah. they're back. I, I, you know, I just look on my street in Sydney Road, my where my electorate office is, and. Uh, you just uh, you don't have to walk more than thirty or forty meters to come across a a late night massage studio. So, is there a shortage of Australian uh, people living or Australian residents, Australian citizens, uh, willing to work in the sex industry? I think yes, yes, yeah. I, I because it's such a transient industry, and because people come in and out of it relatively quickly. So people work in it to get through school or to pay for some children's school fees. So they're, they're in and out of it. Um, I think more importantly, it's also about breaking that um, uh, that trafficking of, of sex workers from some of those countries, that by providing a legal avenue for those sex workers to come to this country that we can we can break some of the illegality and the exploitation that occurs under the current situation. Thank you very much for coming in again. Good Thanks, to see you. Neil.